Hi there, this is a simple little tutorial for uh, anyone out there and in particular some of my guitar students who would like to play a simple blues um, using only open chords. Um, so for people who haven't mastered bar chords yet. The first thing with this sort of blues, or with any sort of blues really, is to get the timing nailed. And so let me explain what's going on in the hope that you'll be able to easily or more easily uh, fall into the shuffle rhythm that blues so often uses. We're talking about something called 12-8 time. And with 12-8 time, we've got a bar of music. So we've got one, two, three, four. And what we're doing is we're um, making each of those beats into a little threesome. So it goes one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Now what the shuffle rhythm does is it takes that 12-8 time, it takes those groups of three, and it just takes two of them. It takes the three and the one, so it just ditches the twos. So if you think and count out to yourself, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, three, one, three, one, two, 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 three, one, two. And that's it. That's what you need to lock into. So move away from the one and two and three and four and, and think more one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Okay, and then you'll have the timing. Now I'm gonna uh, choose the key of, of E. Okay, so we've got three chords. We've got an E, an A, and a B. Now that's a, a normal open E chord. But what I'm doing with this hand is that I'm using the bass string, sixth string, and then the fourth, third, and second. So I'm not using the fifth string, which means this finger is not required on the fifth string. So I'm suggesting that just for this, you're just going to use two fingers there. Okay, and then when I pluck, that's a re. Now on the second string, this is where we're going with our rhythm, with our, our riff. Okay, so I can use either my third finger or my little finger can be incorporated. So I could go whichever you're more comfortable with. Now, what I've done is I've split the bar in half. So we've got one, two, and it's the first half, and then three and four, and is the second half. And so I've got you doing some stuff with the chords for the one and two, and one, two, and, and then just the thumb on the bass string, three and four, and three, four. So we've got that three, four, in which place we can move. this hand to whatever new position we want. So that's why I've done it this way. If you wanted, you could just as well do the whole bar of playing chords. But then you've got to change a lot quicker. So that's why I've, I'm doing it in this way. So we, that's our first riff. plucking all of them and then a, a bass beat on its own then lip finger onto the second string of the second fret and then the third fret and 
that last one I'm just doing the fingers. Okay, for the A, just the two fingers, right? That's an A7 chord. And you've just created that shape, but with this finger on here. For the E, as we went. So it's easy to get to there. And for the A, we're swapping our thumb on the fifth string. And there, either using my little finger on the second string to go up to the third fret, or slide your ring finger up. Sound three and four and one, two and three and four and and then back to the E. Now, if we take this shape, which is like a D7 shape, so that's a D7 chord. So, obviously, maybe not obviously, but up one fret would be D sharp seven, up two frets would be E seven. So, there I've got an alternative position for an E. That's E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. So up here, with these two fingers, the ninth fret, I've got an A. And using the same shape here, you've got another E. same shape here for your B7 and since I'm only plucking my fifth fourth third and second strings I don't need my little finger which you traditionally put onto your top string at the second fret so if you want a full B7 do that but if you're not using your little finger if you're not using your top string rather such as I wasn't that's it three shapes classic blues make it your own swap around a bit hope that's been useful